Hey guys, Jason here. So I'd like to share a melodic metal guitar lesson with you in this video. But first, before we get to that, please subscribe to my channel if you have not and ding that little bell so that you'll get my videos in your feed. And also don't forget to check out the description of the video. I've got links that go to my albums and music releases. So please check that out. So let's get to the lesson. Now, melodic metal guitar calls for a little different structure than most other heavy metal genres. So let's break down the riff. It's going to be the one you heard me play just a few seconds ago. I'm going to play it again for you. I'll throw up the tablature and then I want to talk a little bit more about the components that I feel make up melodic metal guitar playing. So here's the lesson. So that's the riff that I want to share with you. Now, what we're doing, we're playing this in the key of B minor. So if you had a seven string, that'd really be cool because it'd be so much heavier. Um, but the reason I chose that chord is I wanted to play a different style of power chord. And it's going to be like a multi-part lesson here because um, we're playing what I consider to be melodic metal. And again, I'll explain that after the lesson. But first, I want to show you the chords and some of the things I'm doing to get the sounds that I'm getting out of these chords, which again are kind of uh, subcomponents of this subgenre, like so many subs. I wish I had a meatball sub. Anyway, so um, I'm going to share, you know, I'm going to break down the chords for you and how I play them. And of course, we'll talk about like why I play them that way uh, for this specific style of music. So first chord I'm hitting, it's a B minor but it's kind of like one of those inverted backwards reverse chords. I'm sure it has like a technical name. I'm not good with that kind of stuff, so I uh, just call it a really cool sounding chord. Um, but we're playing on the first three strings for that first chord. And um, so the first string I'm playing on the seventh fret, the sec second string is the fifth fret, and the third string there is the fourth fret. So you get this sound. If I were to play a regular B power chord, it would sound like this. But instead, we get this cool sound. Now, what I do from there, I go from the B, which technically that's a B minor. That's the key that we're in. I go from that B to an A. And notice I'm not hitting a I'm not hitting a regular power chord on this either. I'm hitting the first two strings. The first string is going to be the fifth fret, and then the second string is the fourth fret. It's almost as if you're playing a G. Like if you're playing a G, you'd play it up here. So if you just move those fingers, those first two notes, up a whole step, you get. That's the second chord. There's two more chords here. Now, this next chord, I think it's called like a minor six, so it's going to be an F sharp. So the root note we're hitting is the F sharp, which is the second fret on the first string. But instead of playing a normal F sharp power chord, we're actually going to move that second note, which is going to be on the second string, we're going to be hitting the fifth fret. Now, normally we'd hit the fourth fret, but to get that minor six sound, Instead of this, it's going to be this. That is one of my all-time favorite power chords. I love that chord. So the next chord and the final chord, I'm just hitting a G power chord. And of course, that's the first string is the third fret and the second string is your fifth fret. And I'll chop it up. You'll notice I throw some chops in. Um, I don't really remember what I did. That was just kind of like, uh, you know, sporadic and spur of the moment. Uh, I kind of tend to do that when I play. But I just wanted to show you guys the chord structure. So let's go over those chords one more time.
So that's my melodic metal guitar lesson that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Now I want to talk real briefly about some of the components that I feel you know, makes that melodic metal a little, it differentiates that style from some of the other styles of metal or most of the other styles of metal. Um, you know, you can kind of roll all genres and subgenres of metal kind of into, okay, it's just heavy metal. Uh, but there's, you know, you guys know that there's so many different styles of metal. So when we talk about melodic metal, and I'm rambling here, I'll try to stop that. <laughs> when we talk about melodic metal, um, I'm looking for more of like minor chords and dark sounds. Now, I'm not talking about dark as in like doom metal, um, although there are some similarities. When I think of melodic metal, I'm thinking more, and this is like my favorite style of music, by the way. I love melodic metal. Uh, bands like Amana Marth are kind of like a melodic death metal. Uh, Nightwish, they're kind of like melodic symphonic metal. Uh, there's so many other bands. Evergrey, they, they kind of have their own sound. All these bands are from like the, the European countries that I listen to. But uh, one of the things that breaks it down for me and um, hopefully I haven't lost you guys on the video here because uh, I really love talking about this. But I, I like that melodic feel, that punch you in the soul feel. Like it makes you feel something deep down inside, you know. Like you want to cry and you want to smile and laugh, you know, and be happy all at the same time. Melodic metal just like throws a plethora of emotions at you, in my opinion. So to get that impact, and I'll probably do another video talking about this more in depth. But to get that impact, uh, it calls for those minor chords, you know, so we had a B minor in there and then we had an F sharp minor in there as well. So we've got two minor chords in that one progression and that would have been perfect for like a chorus of a song. I mean, if you threw some lyrics and, and threw some really cool vocals behind that, that would have sounded awesome. Perhaps I'll do that. <laughs> that might be on the next album. Um, actually, the next album I have coming out in 2018 has a lot of uh, melodic style metals. It's pretty much going to be a melodic metal uh, style album. Um, kind of pushing that envelope there. But so that's one of the things. Now another thing I wanted to talk about is the way I played some of these power chords or the majority of these chords. As, as you saw in the first chord there, we didn't play just a regular B, right? We didn't ju do just the regular two note power chord or three note power chord. You know, it kind of had that inversion or reverse or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just call it an extremely cool sounding power chord if you want. But um, that gave us a very distinct sound and tone. Right, so we started out with that, and that chord alone, I don't know if it does it for you, but for me, it just, again, punches me in the soul. Um, and then we go to that A, so you, in theory, you could play the A just like regular if you want, you know? You know. That would sound cool too, so if you want to do it that way, that's fine. Um, but that first chord is like extremely important. Uh, you know, for me anyway, to call this a true melodic metal riff. So we have that, we have the B going to the A, and then that other chord with, uh, I think it's called a minor six, the F sharp uh, with minor six. Again, that's one of my favorite all time chords. I just love playing that chord. I love throwing that in. Uh, if you go back and listen to my prior albums, and especially the latest one I just released, uh, you'll, you'll hear that style a lot in my music, so it's kind of like part of my signature tone. But throwing that chord in there, throwing that chord in the mix, that gives it that kind of punch you in the soul uh, feel to it as well, at least in my opinion. So anyway guys, I just wanted to run through that and um, you know, I've kind of been, I've been like writing a lot of music lately, so I'm, I'm getting ready to start working on this album that I hope to release towards the end of 2018. I uh, can't really talk too much about it because there's some copyright things I have going on, trademark and stuff like that. But uh, definitely, you know, that's definitely coming. So guys, thank you so much. Uh, again, all of you who support my channel. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Uh, please share this video with somebody, with your guitar player friends, your metalhead friends. Uh, if you think it's something that will be helpful to them or if they just like my videos for entertainment, that's cool too. Uh, please share that, guys. And uh, again, to all of you who supported my music and bought my albums and, and have my albums and your Spotify and iTunes playlist, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I've been overwhelmed lately to see how much my music's uh, been played. And I'm just a small time, you know, recording artist. So guys, thank you so much. Again, those, those links are in the description of this video, so definitely check that out. Until the next video, keep it metal.